Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. It is an honor and a privilege to be with you here today talking with you about Unit 5, Lesson 6, called Floating in Groups. So far in Unit 5, we've talked about adding and subtracting with positive and negative numbers. We talked about integers, fractions, and decimals. We've added and subtracted with them. We've come up with some strategies and some rules that will help us add and subtract with those uh, positive and negative numbers. It's super true. However, the truth is in math class, there's not only addition and subtraction, right? There's also these wonderful things called multiplying and dividing the other two important math operations. So lesson six is going to introduce you to the idea of multiplying and dividing with positive and negative integers. We'll focus mostly on integers here in this lesson. Um, on Edpuzzle, how about you remind Edpuzzle what an integer is real quick? That's right. Integers are positive whole numbers and all their opposites. So numbers like 1, 5, 7, negative 3, negative 11, those are examples of integers. In this lesson, um, we'll talk about the floats and anchors model again. We'll, we'll use that model to help us make sense of multiplying and dividing positive and negative integers. The learning goals in this lesson are, are to represent the product of sign numbers using groups. Product, of course, is the big word for answer to a multiplication problem. And we'll talk about why uh, the multiplication of two numbers is positive or negative based on floats and anchors in the context of that. We're going to work specifically on slides one through seven here in this video today. So, slides one through seven is where we'll start. In slide one, this is the warm-up slide. It basically wants you to, um, to see that this submarine is controlled by groups of floats and anchors. So it's controlled by groups of maybe three floats at a time or groups of four anchors at a time. Those combinations can be made together. So your job here is just to um, try a few different combinations to see what it's talking about. Give yourself a few floats and a few anchors. Keep track of how many groups you give. It also counts it down here on the submarine, as you can see, floats and anchors. And then just kind of keep track of what you notice as you go through some different combinations. Slide one is all about exploration. There's nothing to click or there's nothing to submit on slide one. Just go play around with the groups of floats and anchors for a few minutes and then come back to Edpuzzle. Awesome job there on slide one. Slide two is going to happen as soon as my button lets me click next. Slide two, I'm still on the eraser. That's why technology is the best. Here's slide two. Slide two says that this submarine starts at an elevation of zero units. It says that right here. Then it says that you're going to adjust the floats and anchors to collect the star at negative 12 units. So the star is down there at negative 12. Your job is to add uh, groups of floats and anchors. Remember, the floats uh, make the submarine go up, up on the number line towards the positive numbers, right? And the anchors make the submarine go down towards the negative numbers. So how many groups of floats and anchors could you use to make the submarine go down to negative 12? You can try um, a combination and then say, check your work. It'll let you know if your uh, work is accurate there at the end. Go work on slide two and then come back to end puzzle. Awesome job there on slide two. Slide three is gonna show you another way uh, that that could be used. Lucky you, it might be the way you already used. Um, here's one possible combination that could be used, three groups of four anchors, three groups of four anchors. Your job is to figure out another way to do it. Try to come up with another combination that could end your submarine down at negative 12. Try to come up with another combination that could land your submarine on the negative 12 star. And then come back to Edpuzzle. Awesome job there on slide three, guys. Here on slide four, things are about to get really awesome. So it says the submarine starts at zero units. And it's going to tell you right here um, on the screen that it's going to remove six groups of floats. It's going to remove six groups of floats. So six of these little float groups are going to be knocked away there. They're going to get removed. If it removed six groups of three floats, then where would the submarine end up after six groups of three floats were taken away? Take a guess there um, on the Desmos slide and then have it check your work there. Go work on slide four and then come back. Awesome job. Hopefully you saw that the submarine would land 
at negative 18 if you took away six groups of three floats. Here's our friend Demetrius. He wrote the following equation, and that helped him solve the scenario on the previous screen. Negative six, or this dot means multiplication, times negative, I'm sorry, times positive three. Negative six times positive three equals negative 18. So that's the equation that he wrote. He thought that helped him represent the situation. Explain here with English words what you think the negative six represents. What do you think the positive three represents? What does the negative 18 represent at the end? Type your things you think it represents and then click share with class at the end. Go work on slide five and then come back to Ed Puzzle. Awesome job here, guys. Two slides left. Slide six is similar to slide four in that it's taking some things away. However, this time it's, re it's starting at zero again and it's removing five groups of four anchors. The anchors keep it weighted down. It's going to remove five groups of four anchors. Where would it end up after it removed those five groups of four anchors? Uh, type your answer there in the box. Have it check your work. Make sure you work until you get it correct, and then come back to Edpuzzle. Finally, here on slide seven, you got two different people. Our friend Demetrius is still here, but so is our friend Callan, and they have two different expressions for how they got their answer. Uh, they're on the previous, this is the same scenario as slide six. Callan said zero minus positive five times negative four. Demetrius said negative five times negative four. Explain why each person's expressions make sense there in words and then click share with the class. In your own math classroom, your teachers will talk more about slide seven with you in class. I'm sure they'll go over some of the other key ones from earlier. And eventually they'll get to a place where they're working on slide 12 with you, which is the cool down slide here at the end. But for the sake of this video, we only work through slides one through seven. Thank you so much for your attention and your focus. Have a great day, guys. Remember, go Orange County Schools. Go America. Bye-bye now.